All right, ladies, I live with two girls and I've got some things to say. Why do you tell guys that you like about other guys to make them jealous, but you also tell guys you don't like about other guys so that they know you're not interested? That shit's super confusing for men. We're not the smartest if you haven't picked that up yet. Also, if you call guys dude or bro or anything like that, in the early stages, they're instantly going to think they're in the friend zone. So if they up and leave and you're like, hey, wh where did they go? It's because you friend zoned them accidentally. If you do want to friend zone them, like straight up, just call them dude and bro and all that kind of stuff. And then boom. Okay, students, and the exam starts. Now. How can I help? Oh yeah, um, could I have some more paper please? Not a problem. Shh, okay? There you go, sir. No problem at all. And that's it, everyone. Finish your papers. What you drink at a party really says about you. If you drink Echo Falls, you are single-handedly the most basic girl at the party. Like, you may be popular, but it's nothing to be proud of because you are basic. Girls who drink white wine at parties are the ones who tend to want to start off looking classy and posh and stush, but by the end of the night, after a few bottles of this wine, they're going to be getting with a drug dealer at 3am. Um, you're probably a standard boy if you drink this, not that I'm assuming genders. I myself identify as an attack helicopter. If you're above the age of 15 and still drink WKD, you've got a lot of growing up to do, mate. You're a wife beater. If you're taking straight vodka shots at a party, chances are your life's a mess and you're trying to get as drunk as humanly possible in order to escape the sad reality of your existence. Types of kids on non-uniform day. First up, we've got the kid that never ever paid a pound. Like, the whole concept of non-uniform day is you pay a pound and you get to wear your own clobber. This geezer was not on it. He's already spent the pound on Sherbert and now he's in infinite debt to the school. He always had the shittest excuse as to why he don't have it. Like, oh, I miss it. Must have filled out my pocket. I'll pay you next time, innit? That next time's never coming, geez. Let's be honest. Next up, we have the group of girls who would roll in in the same outfit that would look a bit like this. It would literally be minus 58 degrees on the fucking playground. I'd stand there with three puffer jackets on, six pairs of gloves and four scarves, freezing my absolute bollocks off, but they're still chilling in their crop top and ripped jeans. You could literally see the goosebumps on their skin, but they're committed because beauty is pain, mate. Next up, we have the lads that wore astroturfs and jeans. Now, non-uniform day was not getting in the way of their lunchtime football. They were still about to bang it top bins and were going to look fucking cool doing it. Then we have the kids in like million dollar outfits, like their socks were literally worth more than my fucking gaff and they're always bragging like fuck off mate, your dad bought it for you dickhead. Then we have the kid that forgot it was non-uniform day and rolled in in school uniform, uh, this was the biggest L you could have taken. I don't want to fall asleep, I don't want to pass away I've been thinking of our future cause I'll never see those days I don't know Matching trims to personality types And yes I am well aware that my trim looks like it's been hit by a bus But we're here for a good time, not a long time, do you know what I mean? Number one, we've got the curtains. Now, have you ever read the Bible and that story where Moses parts the Red Sea? Yeah, it looks like good old Moses has run up on your head top, banged his stick twice and your hair's done a madness. If you got this trim, you're probably very edgy, very alternative, very underground, so complicated. Or you're an e-boy and spend your days on TikTok. There's no in-between, bruv. Next up, we've got the ruler trim. Now, if you've got the ruler trim, your name's probably Jack or Josh or any other name beginning with J. You're a bit of a party boy. You're probably doing an apprenticeship in plumbing. And in your spare time, you like to drive to McDonald's car park in your course art and beep at underage girls. Dodgy. Then we've got the noodle trim. Now, if you've got this, you're most likely 12 years old. You own an Armani coat. You think you're top dog on the playground until you get your ball booted by the year 11s, which results in an emotional breakdown and you crying in hysterics. Then we got this one. Now, ripping a chat for all my man them that have shaved their head and thought they'll look like H, but instead look like this geezer. 
Male PE teacher. Male PE teacher. Male PE teacher. Male PE teacher. <coughs> Nonce fuck.